Quranism Arabic, al al describes any form of Islam that accepts the Quran as the only sacred text through which God revealed himself to humankind, but rejects the religious authority, reliability, and or authenticity of the Hadith collections. They believe that God's message in the Quran is clear and complete as it is, and that it can therefore be fully understood without referencing the Hadith. Quranists affirm that the Hadith literature which exists today is apocryphal, as it had been written three centuries after the death of the Islamic prophet Muhammad, thus, it cannot have the same status as the Quran. Quran alone Islam is similar to movements in Abrahamic religions such as the Karaite movement in Judaism and the Sola Scriptura view of Protestant Christianity. Terminology Adherents of Quranic Islam are referred to as Quranists Arabic, Quranian translit. Quranian, or people of the Quran Arabic, al -al translit. Ahl al -Quran. This should not be confused with Allah-e-Quran, which is an organization formed by Abdullah Chakralawi. Quranists may also refer to themselves simply as Muslims, submitters, or reformists. Doctrine Quranists believe that the Quran is the sole source of religious law and guidance in Islam and reject the authority of sources outside of the Quran like Hadith and Sunnah. And, citing Quranic verses like 638-39 and 6-114-115, they believe that the Quran is clear, complete, and that it can be fully understood without recourse to the Hadith and Sunnah. Therefore, they use the Qur'an itself to interpret the Qur'an. A literal and holistic analysis of the text from a contemporary perspective and applying the exegetical principle of tafsir al-Qur'an by al-Qur'an explaining the Qur'an with the Qur'an and the jurisprudential principle al-asl fi al-kalam al hakika the fundamental rule of speech is literalness, without refracting that Qur'anic usage through the lens of history and tradition. This method of interpreting the Quran is different from the method favored by most Sunni and Shia exegetes, known as tafsir by al madhur interpreting the Quran with narrations, i.e., hadiths. In contrast to Quranists, Sunnis do not believe that the Quran is detailed. They believe that, the Quran needs the Sunnah more than the Sunnah needs the Quran inner el Quran awaju ila el Sunnah mina el Sunnah ila el Quran. This methodological difference has led to considerable divergence between Quranists and Sunnis and Shia in matters of theology and law. The extent to which Quranists reject the authenticity of the Hadith and Sunnah varies, but the more established groups have thoroughly criticized the authenticity of the Hadith and reject it for many reasons. The most prevalent view being the Quranists who say that Hadith is not mentioned in the Quran as a source of Islamic theology and practice, was not recorded in written form until a century after the death of Muhammad, and contain internal errors and contradictions. History The Quranist ideology dates back to the time of Muhammad, who prohibited the writing of hadiths. One of Muhammad's successors, Umar, also prohibited the writing of hadith and destroyed existing collections. When Umar appointed a governor to Kufa, he told him, You will be coming to the people of a town for whom the buzzing of the Quran is as the buzzing of bees. Therefore, do not distract them with the hadiths, and thus engage them. Bear the Quran and spare the narration from God's Messenger, peace and blessing be upon him. The centrality of the Quran in the religious life of the Kufans that Umar described was quickly changing, however. 
A few decades later, a letter was sent to the Umayyad Caliph Abd al Malik ibn Marwan regarding the Kufans. They abandoned the judgment of their Lord and took hadiths for their religion, and they claim that they have obtained knowledge other than from the Quran. They believed in a book which was not from God, written by the hands of men, they then attributed it to the Messenger of God. In the following years, the taboo against the writing and following of hadiths had receded to such an extent that the Umayyad Caliph Umar II ordered the first official collection of hadith. Abu Bakr ibn Muhammad ibn Hazm and ibn Shahab al-Zuri, were among those who wrote hadiths at Umar II's behest. Despite the trend towards hadiths, the questioning of their authority continued during the Abbasid dynasty and existed during the time of al-Shafi'i, when a group known as Ahl al-Kalam argued that the prophetic example of Muhammad is found in following the Quran alone, rather than hadith. Later, a similar group, the Mutazilites, also viewed the transmission of the Hadith as not sufficiently reliable. The Hadith, according to them, was mere guesswork, conjecture, and bidder innovation, while the Quran was complete and perfect, and did not require the Hadith or any other book to supplement or complement it. During the Abbasid dynasty, the poet, theologian, and jurist, Ibrahim and Nazam founded a madhab called the Natsamiya that rejected the authority of Hadiths and relied on the Quran alone. His famous student, al jahiz was also critical of those who followed hadith, referring to his hadithist opponents as al-Nabita, the contemptible. A contemporary of an nazam al-Shafi'i, tried to refute the arguments of the Quranists and establish the authority of hadiths in his book Kitab Jim'ar al-Ilm and Ibn Qutaybah tried to refute an Natsam's arguments against hadith in his book Tawil Muqtalif al-Hadith. In South Asia during the 19th century, the Ala Quran movement formed partially in reaction to the Ala Hadith whom they considered to be placing too much emphasis on hadith. Many Ala Quran adherents from South Asia were formerly adherents of Ala Hadith but found themselves incapable of accepting certain hadiths. In Egypt during the early 20th century, the ideas of Quranists like Muhammad Tawfiq Sidki grew out of Salafism, i.e., a rejection of Taklid. Muhammad Tawfiq Sidki of Egypt held that nothing of the hadith was recorded until after enough time had elapsed to allow the infiltration of numerous absurd or corrupt traditions." Muhammad Tawfiq Sidki wrote an article titled Al-Islam Hua al-Quran Wadahu Islam is the Quran alone that appeared in the Egyptian journal Al-Mana, which argues that the Quran is sufficient as guidance. What is obligatory for man does not go beyond God's book. If anything other than the Quran had been necessary for religion, Sidki notes, the Prophet would have commanded its registration in writing, and God would have guaranteed its preservation. In the 21st century, Quranist beliefs have spread in various countries. However, in countries that have incorporated some aspects of Sunni law, adherents often struggle to practice their beliefs freely and openly. For example, a Saudi Islamic scholar, Hassan Farhan al-Maliki, was arrested numerous times for promoting political reform and a return to the Quran. And in Egypt and Sudan, Quranists have been arrested for their beliefs. The spread of Quranist beliefs in Russia has provoked the ire of the Sunni establishment. The Russian Council of Muftis issued a fatwa against Quranism and those it said were its leaders in Russia. However, one of the purported Quranist leaders mentioned in the fatwa, the Russian philosopher Taufik Ibrahim, pointed out that he was even a Quranist. He said that his beliefs were more in line with the jaded tradition, although there is some overlap between the two groups in Russia. 
In Turkey, Quranists have responded on social media to attacks by the DNA on their Quranist beliefs. In other countries where the influence of the Sunni establishment isn't as strong, Quranists have more religious freedom. In Kazakhstan, a Quranist organization called Izgiamal has an estimated 70 to 80,000 members. Its leader, Azelbek Musin, is the son of the former Speaker of the Majlis, Aslan Musin. In India, Quranist leaders like Jamida Bivi, the first woman in India to lead mixed gender congregational prayers, have spoken out against India's triple talaq law, which is mostly based on the Sunni inspired Muslim Personal Law Shariat Application Act, 1937. In a similar vein, the Oxford-educated Islamic scholar, Taj Hagi, established the Open Mosque in South Africa. As the name implies, Hagi intended the mosque to be more open to demographics traditionally shunned by Sunni and Shia mosques, like women. Hagi describes the principles of the mosque as Quran centric, gender equality, non sectarian, intercultural, and independent. Hagi has also criticized what he calls the toxic trio of hadith, sharia, and fatwas. Organizations <laughs> 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 Topic: Ala Quran. Ala Quran is an organization formed by Abdullah Chakralawi, who described the Quran as a san hadith, meaning most perfect hadith, and consequently claimed it does not need any addition. His movement relies entirely on the chapters and verses of the Quran. Chakralawi's position was that the Quran itself was the most perfect source of tradition and could be exclusively followed. According to Chakralawi, Muhammad could receive only one form of revelation, wahi, and that was the Quran. He argues that the Quran was the only record of divine wisdom, the only source of Muhammad's teachings, and that it superseded the entire corpus of hadith, which came later. Topic: Kala Kato. Kala Kato is a Quranist movement whose adherents reside mostly northern Nigeria, with some adherents residing in Niger. Kala Kato means a man says in the Hausa language, in reference to the sayings or hadiths posthumously attributed to Muhammad. Kala Kato accept only the Quran as authoritative and believe that anything that is not Kala Allah, which means what God says in the Hausa language, is Kala Kato. <laughs> <laughs> Malaysian Quranic Society The Malaysian Quranic Society was founded by Kasim Ahmed. The movement holds several positions distinguishing it from Sunnis and Shias such as a rejection of the status of hair as being part of the aura, therefore exhibiting a relaxation on the observance of the hijab, which according to Quranists is not in the Quran. <laughs> Quran Sunnat Society The Quran Sunnat Society is a Quranist movement in India. The movement was behind the first ever woman to lead a Friday congregation prayer in the country of India. It also maintains an office and headquarters within Kerala. There is a large community of Quranists in Kerala. Submitters. In the United States it was associated with Rashad Khalifa, founder of the United Submitters International. 
The group popularized the phrase, the Quran, the whole Quran, and nothing but the Quran. After Khalifa declared himself the messenger of the covenant, he was rejected by other Muslim scholars as an apostate of Islam. Later, he was assassinated in 1990 by a terrorist group. Those interested in his work believe that there is a mathematical structure in the Quran, based on the number 19. A group of submitters in Nigeria was popularized by High Court Judge Issa Rothman. <laughs> Zumratul Jamiu Mumin Zumratul Jamiu Mumin is a Quranist movement in Ogun State, Nigeria. The movement regards the Hadiths as idolatry and un-Islamic. The group believes in refuting Hadithist dogma, conveying the message of the Quran alone to non-Muslims and inviting them to it, to make efforts to integrate new converts into the Muslim community, and to recruit manpower and provide training for Dawa workers. <laughs> Notable Quranists Kasim Ahmed 1933 a Malaysian intellectual, writer, poet and an educator known for his rejection of the authority of hadiths. He was the founder of the Quranic Society of Malaysia. At the time of his death, he was working on a Malay translation of the Quran. Rashad Khalifa an Egyptian-American biochemist and Islamic reformer. In his book Quran, Hadith and Islam and his English translation of the Quran, Khalifa argued that the Quran alone is the sole source of Islamic belief and practice. However, he also claimed that parts of the Quran were fabricated, precluding him from being a strict Quranist. He further declared that the Hadith and Sunnah were satanic inventions under Satan's schemes. In the face of widespread anger and hostility by the Muslim world, Khalifa was stabbed to death on 31 January 1990 by Glenn Cusford Francis, a member of the terrorist organization, Jamaat al fuqara Ahmed Subhi Mansour born 1949, an Egyptian-American Islamic scholar. He founded a small group of Quranists, but was exiled from Egypt and is now living in the United States as a political refugee. Chekhan Er Morlavi born 1936, disappeared 29 July 1993, a progressive Islamic cleric who lived in Edapal in Malappuram district of Kerala, India. He was noted for his controversial and unconventional interpretation of Islam based on Quran alone. He disappeared on 29 July 1993 under mysterious circumstances and is now widely believed to be dead. Ahmed Rashad born 1949, an American sportscaster mostly with NBC Sports and former professional football player. Ahmed Rashad studied the Arabic language and the Quran with his mentor, the late Rashad Khalifa. Muhammad Talbi (1921–2017), a Tunisian historian and professor. He was the founder of the Association Internationale des Musulmans Coraniques (AIMC) or International Association of Quranic Muslims. Edip Yuxel, born 1957, a Kurdish-American philosopher, lawyer, Quranist advocate, author of 19, God's Signature in Nature and Scripture, Manifesto for Islamic Reform and a co-author of Quran, a reformist translation. He taught philosophy and logic at Pima Community College and medical ethics and criminal law courses at Brown Mackey College. Topic. See also Liberalism and progressivism within Islam Nondenominational Muslim <laughs>